What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to convert a string to a date time object in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. All right, so for our example today, the string that we're gonna use is today's date, which is the, uh, December 17th of 2023. Um, and I've just written it out in this format right here. So to convert this into a date a time object, we obviously need the to import the date time package. Um, so let's go ahead and import that. Um, and then you can just do, date time and so just like that we've now imported our date time object or our date time package and we can leverage this with our date or with our current date string variable to now uh, convert this string in from being a string object to a date time object so let's show you how to do that right now all right so now that we have our date um, in string format and then we have imported our date time object what we can do is we can leverage a function in the date time package so we'll say date time dot and then we say uh, the date time sub package so within these ones there is a function called st yeah string and then we want this one string p time which is basically going to need a date string in the string format which is our variable and then a format and then its output is going to be a date time object so for example i would have to say date um, string and then now i need some sort of format to go in a, a string in for, with whatever format our date is in that sounds confusing right like how do i know what i need to do to make it so i tell hey this object is in this you know specific format like month slash day slash year and then out so that it can output our our date time object that's essentially what is needed to convert a string to a daytime object is there is some sort of relationship that needs to be shown between that string and the daytime object that says, oh yeah, okay, I understand, we can read that. Luckily for us, um, Python has documentation all on this. So if we go over to the Python docs, so docs.python.org, um, and then we scroll down in here, you'll see that there is this str uh, f time and str p time behaviors. And essentially what that is, is just the two functions that allow um, allow one to convert strings from time and strings to time. So if we scroll down through this, we can see that if our if our string is in this format of month slash year or day slash year, we essentially need to find what that format is um, representative in those documents. So if we come over here, we say that if we have, oh yeah, we see we have month, um, but it's just the abbreviated month. And then if we scroll down here, it says month as a padded zero. So, you know, 0, 1 to all up to 12, that is represented as percent %m. So if we go back to our string, we can say, okay, to get this date string object converted to um, an actual date time object rather than a string, we have to say that, hey, the month is represented as parentheses m, right? So if we go back here, double check, yep, percent parentheses m, and then there's a slash. Now let's go back over the documentation and then see like what is day represented by. So if we scroll down here, we have weekdays. Um, we have weekday as a decimal number, which is just zero to six. Then we have day of the month. That's kind of what we're looking for, right? Um, and so that is just represented as percent D. So if we come back over here, now we say we have percent D, oops, percent D. And then we have another slash. And now we need the full year, right? So come back over the documentation and then the documentation, if we scroll down here, year without century. No, that's not what we want. And then it says year with century as a decimal number. And so yeah, that looks kind of like the format that we want, right? So that is represented as a uh, percent and then capital Y. So if we come back over here and we'll do percent capital Y, the output of this should be uh, date um, object, right? So that should be the output of that. So again, what we did is we took our string that contains the string formatted date, which is the date string variable right here. We put it into this strp time function within the, the date time sub package of the overarching kind of date time package. And then we said this string is in this format so that you know how to convert it from the string to the date time. So if we go ahead and rerun, and if we go ahead now and we say, let's print our uh, date object and let's print also the type of our date object, because again, um, in previous videos I've shown if you kind of print out the date time object, uh, it, it will just kind of pretty pretty print it and kind of just show you that it's just a string. Um, and so to show you kind of both, we're gonna say, hey, give us our date object and give us our um, the type. Now it might print out different than this format because it converted to a date time object. So if I go um, reset and Python how to convert, and we rerun this, 
we see that this printed out a date time object again because we are doing uh, date time because this strp allows you to also give you formats where you could add other stuff we could add other stuff here and do like hours minutes and stuff like that um, so you can see that this is what it's representing as our date object because it's a date time all right and the class is now a date time and it's not the original uh, just the string formatted string date now, if I did want to get just the date out of this, like I showed in a previous video, you could um, do something like date and just do that and rerun this and you'll get just the 12, 17, 2023. And then you'll get that is, is a date time dot date object. So that is how you can convert a string to a date time object is by essentially giving your, if you know, and th this is, this is key, right? Like you have to know the format of this. So like if you're like running a program or you're writing something that's ingesting something from like an, an API or something else, and you don't know the format of the string, or they don't tell you, um, this method, you know, you're probably not, you're gonna probably have to do something different because if you're trying to get a daytime object from a string, you need to know what the format is going to be because can the daytime dot, uh, date, you know, this right here is the way that we convert strings to daytime objects, but it requires knowing that specific format, you know? And so say, now let's rearrange this, let's do something crazy, right? Um, let's say that we did, we do, um, let's completely change this, right? So let's go 2023, 2023 space, uh, let's do, the uh, month slash or print or we'll do 12 and then the day right which is uh, the 17th so if I do this I have to rearrange this like if I try and run this again like you'll see that it's probably yeah it's going to give us an error that says hey date time date their time data of this string does not match this specified format right so if we come back in here, we have to do something like percent %y space. Now we get rid of that. And then we say uh, percent %m space and then the day, right? And then we get rid of this last stuff. And now that is matching up. If we rerun this, we get an output of, yep, it's the, you know, 23, 12, 17. And this is the default string printout for a date, date or date time object or the date portion of a date and or date time object. Um, so again, I could throw in, I can throw in dashes here to match what the nor normal output of this is. And if I rerun this, it's gonna say error. The time data that you gave it, or the date time data that you gave it, does not match that given format. So if I come back in here and I do this, add the dashes into my format, um, that is essentially how I can convert a string to a date time object or a date object um, in this case because we did the date right here. So I hope this has provided value. I hope this has answered your question. If it hasn't, please leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to um, you know update the video or provide additional insight or make an additional video that helps clarify this. But again, when converting a string to a daytime object, it is key that you know what format this is in regards to the month portion, the day portion, and the year portion of the actual string. So that way you can tell this function, hey, this string is in this format, so do all of the stuff that you need to do to, to grab out all the right pieces, right? To create or construct our actual object. So um, hope this provided value. Please hit that like button below. And until next time, keep on programming.